it's a fairly short one. So obviously, like I mentioned previously, I'm not going to go into every tiny little detail, but just give you a bit of a flavor for the language. So here we have a typical Java class, a person class, and it's fairly basic. We have a name, that's a string. We have an age, we have our constructor here, and we have our typical getters and setters to use our variables, right? Now, we can rewrite this in Kotlin, and we can actually rewrite it in a very similar way. We can make it look exactly, almost exactly the same as a constructor. We can have our getters and we can have our setters if we so wish. But before we even consider doing that, let's just take a look at this as a whole. This is a class that has about over 20 lines, and it's not actually doing anything at this point, is it? It's just, it's boilerplate. It's setting things up for you to be able to use them at a later date in a, in a different way. You can't, before even doing anything with this class, you can't actually, you have to set all this up. So instead of rewriting all this and you watch me type really badly when people are watching me type because you forget how to, um, <laughs> I'm going to use actually a built-in IntelliJ feature um, provided by JetBrains and that is converting Java files to Kotlin. So JetBrains allows you to have your built-in Google Translate for your language. Now this is not always perfect, but it works really well in this example, so I will show you. So I'll do this and click that, and here we go. We have the exact same thing that we had in Java, but just in Kotlin, all in one line. What Kotlin has done here, once again, it is remove noise, right? It, you still have your class, you have the variables that you need to, to var. Um, Kotlin pre uh, prefers having val, so which is the equivalent to constants. Um, so, but just in this scenario, because we want getters and setters to be able to var. So it's mutable. We have our variable name and we have the type. So string and age integer. So it creates for you your constructor. It has your getters and setters behind the scenes for you, which you would have to write out in Java. This means you're less likely to make, to make mistakes. Um, you're, and you just you spend more time actually doing the things that you need to do rather than setting everything up. So yeah, that'll be it for the code demo.